name is Robert Hunting. This is one of several in a series aimed at explaining how young children learn mathematics. There is a commonly held belief that children have not thought much about numbers before they start school. Children's mathematical minds at the start of school are a blank slate. This proposition, however, is far from the case, as we will soon see. In an interview you are about to see, Luca, aged four years and eight months, was asked a number of questions about numerals in contexts fairly familiar to him, including the nine associated with network television channel nine, numerals on clothing and shoes, on postage, envelopes, street letter boxes, birthday occasions and calculators. Sometimes you see numbers on TV. Have you seen, I'm going to show you a couple of pictures of the things. Have you seen this before? What's that number? Twelve. Do you know that number? Eleven. Okay, can you count those dots? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, how many dots? Nine. Nine. And do you know what that number is there? Have you ever seen that number on TV before? No. no. What channel would that be? That would be the news. It would be the news. When Luca looked at the ticket on his t-shirt, he observed that the numeral 7 on the ticket meant that that would be how old you had to be. Then he said, but I'm nearly five, so I can wear it. Shoes have got numbers on them. Can you see? Can you see any numbers on there? Oh, I can see a number. What's that? Eighteen. Ah, okay. Thirty-one. Now, and is there any numbers in down here where you put your foot? Can you see any numbers down there? Yes. What can you see? A two and a one. Yes, you can. Twelve, twelve and a half. That's right. That's right, Judah. Why have they got? Why have the shoes got numbers on them? Because. Are you twelve? Are you are you two and a half? No, but that's just what it says. That's how big it is. Uh -huh. When Luca was asked if there were any numbers on his shoes, he identified the number eighty-one on the sole of one sandal as an eighteen. He also recognised the numerals 2 and 1 inside the sandal. In fact, it was 12.5. This is a letter that came in the mail to me the other day. Can you have a look at it? Can you see a number? What's that number there? Can you read those numbers to me? That number there? Where's the other? What's that other number? I don't know. Eight? Eight. Five. Two. It looks like a two, but it's a five. Three oh eight five. Do you know what that number is? No. Mm. Uh, is there any other numbers on here? On this address? Eight. In work. What does that mean? Eighteen. What does that mean? Thirty. What does it mean? I what does it mean when they put a number on the letter? It means Letter. Who, yes. who, who, who put that there? I don't know. Uh -huh. What's that? The letterbox. Whose letterbox is it? Yours. Why? How do you know it's mine? Because it has mm -hmm. time lock. Huh? Because it has time lock. It's got time lock. Mm. Has it got a number on it? This, 18. Okay. Why has it got 18 on it? Why do we put numbers on our letter boxes? Because that's our number of our street. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Has your letter box got a number on it? Yes. Do you know five. What it? A five. Why has it got a five on it? Because that's our street. <laughs> your street's five street. Yeah, five city street. Oh, five city. Yeah, okay. 
All right, let's have a look at this picture. Oh no, 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 I've got a couple more here. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Now, here's another. Now here's a letter. Is this your letterbox? No. But it's got a five on it. Well. Well? I can I when you I saw one of our letterbox. Did you? You yeah. having a sneak peek. <laughs> well, that's a mystery to me because I want you to explain it to me because I do have a picture of your letterbox here. Here it is. Oh, okay. Look at that. There's your letterbox. Yes. What's the number on your letterbox? Five. And what's the number on this letterbox? Five. Well, how can you have the same number on two different letterboxes? I don't know. How is a postman going to figure out Whose letter goes what box? Oh, our postman knows. Does he? How does he know? Because my postman doesn't go on that street. Ah, oh, okay. On a different occasion, a four-year-old boy named Alex was shown a picture with the numeral seven on a letterbox. The interviewer asked Alex, is that the only house that has a number seven letterbox? Alexander said no. The interviewer said no. Do other houses have the same number or different numbers? Alex, same, different numbers. Interviewer, different numbers. Alex, some have the same, but some have different. Interviewer, right. Alex, whose house has got 5-5 five five like me, mine? Interviewer, well, your house is number 55, but my house is number 59. Alex, yes. Interviewer. Ben told me this morning that you could change your number of your house. Is that right? Alex. No, because my mum put five five stickers. Two stickers on that have five and five on. Interviewer. I see. She's not allowed to put any other numbers up? Alex. No, because that's not the right number. Interviewer. It wouldn't be the right number if she didn't put five five. Alex. Yeah, because that's not the right number, because if she didn't do that, that would mean she would live in a different place. Luca was shown a photo of his older sister on the occasion of her fifth birthday. He counted the candles on the cake correctly. I asked Luca if he knew how old Beth was now. The following video clip records that discussion. What do you see in the picture? What's this? A birthday cake. Yes. And what's it got on it? Candles. How many candles can you see? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And who's this little girl? I don't know. Do you know who it is? Do you want me to tell you who it is? Mm. It's your big sister. When she was... Five. She might even... Yes, she looks a little bit like she's five, doesn't she? Yes. How old is she now? She's six. No, she's seven. She's seven. And she's almost turned eight. Mm. So how many years ago do you think this photo was taken? A long time ago. How, how many years do you think? What, how old is she now? Six. Seven. Seven. And how old was she when that photo was taken? Five. Okay. Now, there's a little so, so took. So how many years? Four did, years. Four, do you think? Four years. Okay. For some time, Luca had been interested in calculators, and he liked playing with a large one when he visited his grandparents' house. It was this particular calculator that I used in this interview. Oh. Yeah. And I've seen something else that's got numbers on it. What's this? Hold on. A calculator. Calculator, yes. It's got numbers. What What are those numbers for? For work. For what do you do with it? Can Counting. You, can you show me what you do with it? Counting. Explain it to me. Count. Okay. Show me how you can do counting. One. Mm -hmm. Two. Three. Four, mm -hmm. five, six, 
six, seven, eight. <laughs> Where's the no? conversation shows that for Luca at least, numbers are just about everywhere, and he had a fairly good idea about the purposes numbers serve, even though some ideas were not so well informed. He did demonstrate sensible explanations for apparent anomalies, such as different letterboxes having the same number. Even before school, numbers for Luca are an integral part of his world. They serve different purposes and do not present any fears for him at all. The final question in this conversation was, what is the biggest number you know? A thousand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Do you know anything that's a, do you know anything that would be a thousand? God. A what? God. God would be a, a thousand years old? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But he's now older than a thousand. He's older than do you know a number that's bigger than a thousand? Yes. What? Twenty. Is twenty bigger than a thousand? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. What if you add one to a thousand? What number do you get? I don't know. A thousand and one? Uh. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, that's Plus one plus, plus one. One plus one? Yeah. Now you're going to trick me here, aren't you? Ah, I knew you would! <laughs> you can learn more about how children learn mathematics by obtaining my books What Children Can Teach Adults About Mathematics and The How and Why of Teaching Elementary Mathematics available from the iTunes Store, Amazon or Google Books. You can visit my website at www.palm-ed.com or Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash hello palm. <laughs>